everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Breaking Character. My name is Jordan Page Suddeth. I'm the show creator and host, and I'm not sitting in the chair because my cat is there and I don't have the heart to move her. So we're going to do it awkwardly like this. If you like what you see here today, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when we post, and you can also follow us on Instagram at Breaking Character Show. If you watched the interview from last week, you would know that our guest this week is actually not who was mentioned, uh, would be on the show at the end of the last interview because we had some switcher, switching around that needed to do. Um, I am so excited to have Ethan Solis on the show today. Ethan Solis is a 12-year-old performer who acts, sings, dances, and tumbles. Ethan began his performing career at the tender age of four when he started violin lessons. He graduated to performing on stage at five years old and had his first on-screen experience when he was eight. His innate ability to deliver comedic dialogue has taken directors by surprise and entertained many audience members over the years. So without further ado, let's head to Zoom. All right, everyone. Hello. And I am so excited today to be here with the amazing Ethan Solis. How are you doing today, Ethan? Um, I'm, I'm doing good. How are you? I am good. Thank you. I am. Uh, I'm I'm pushing through what I need to do today and I'm I'm feeling good about it um well I am so excited to have you here on the show um and uh I'm just yeah I mean you are, are just so talented in so many ways and I am so excited to get to know you a little bit better through this interview so let's start off with our game of two truths and a lie so you're going to tell me two truths and a lie and I'm going to attempt to guess which one the lie is so whenever you're ready okay yes I got it okay here All we right. go so I crochet, professionally crochet Baby Yodas. I know how to drive a unicycle. And I got my first COVID-19 vaccine four days ago. Oh, all right. Okay. This is, uh, this is tough. This is very difficult for me. All right. Um, okay. Huh. Hmm. Okay. I am going to guess. I'm going to guess that the second one's the lie so which one was that the unicycle no no oh my gosh the lie, lie. yeah my lie was that i got the sh my COVID 19 first shot uh four days ago it was actually two days ago oh my gosh so it was oh it was a trick of the numbers oh yeah. man and i should have known that i should have known that because i remember i your mom and i are friends on facebook and i saw her post about it but i guess i didn't remember what day it was i'm not very good with days um <laughs> so wait a second riding a unicycle how did you learn how to do that okay so i think well and i think i know but like i during like right at the start of quarantine last year i was seeing a bunch of videos of people learning how to ride unicycles because they're bored and stuff like that i'm like oh that sounds fun so I think it was May 12th is when the unicycle got there and I was practicing and stuff. I kept falling. I hurt myself a lot, but like after a while, like probably like a month, maybe I've got okay, like pretty good at it. And now I can ride it around for like a couple minutes straight before my legs get tired because it is very tiring. I bet. Oh my gosh. I mean, I get tired just riding a normal bike. I can't imagine trying to balance on one wheel at the same time. That's a, that's a extremely impressive and you tricked me. I, I mean, just keep adding to the list of talents. Why not? Just all of these things. Yeah, well, I've, I've, sorry, I've tried ahead. writing, I've tried riding my unicycle and juggling, but it didn't work. I, I, that, I mean, it looks way just, easier than it is. I, it I bet. Crazy. I mean, that's, I mean, juggling and unicycling separate are things that I think my brain would be like, no, we, no, that doesn't work. So together, I mean, even just being able to do both of them separate is just is so, so cool. So I know you have been performing for a lot of your life and you've seen your family perform. What made you want to join in and, and be a part of the entertaining world as well? Well, I was like in it. I was like in like the showbiz and stuff. I was like doing shows and stuff since I was like five I think wow and it was like it was fun and I was having fun it was all it was awesome but like once I did like my first like it was like a web series thing when I was like 10 like a few years ago uh I was just like it was awesome because like I'd never like really done like stuff on camera and stuff but I'm like that was awesome so I was 
that was like when the first well I mean I, I did stuff when I was like five but like whenever I got in that thing I was like that was the first thing I was like oh this is so awesome so like, that's like, really cool yeah you, you know you you found out the other side of it the theater the on camera that's great so and speaking of on camera you were recently in a commercial which is so cool I can't wait until that comes out what was that experience like yeah it was really it was really fun because like in the commercial we had to like eat a bunch of tacos and stuff and we ate like a lot of tacos <laughs> It Man. was really fun. And also we were trying different hot sauces and I think I burned my tongue. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I give you credit. I do not do well with hot stuff. I would have been like, can I, I have to fake it. I, cause or else I would have been running out of the room going, my mouth is on fire. I can't. Um, so that is really cool. I'm so excited for that to come out. And that's just so cool. Um, so here's my wild card question has nothing to do with anything what are some of your hobbies outside of the film and entertainment world okay so i have a lot um, that's great all right so i like crocheting i like crocheting like different actually different things like this right here this is looks like just like a little ring but right it's actually the start of a baby yoda head oh that's I'm so cool yes i'm crocheting a baby yoda for one of my friends and I like to, um, I like to solve Rubik's cubes. I have one right here. <laughs> I saw the one in your vlog or the vlog that you did. Yeah. That was so insane. Um, let's see. I like to juggle actually. I really like to juggle stuff. I like doing tricks on my trampoline too. So many, uh, man, that is just so many like different areas of like, that is, uh, my oh, hands yeah. are not steady enough to crochet. I give you so much credit. Oh yeah, I also like driving my remote control car, which I did in the vlog as well. I saw that too. I remember we used to have a remote control car um, when I, where I used to live and, but we had a, um, a gutter near our house that it would keep getting stuck under. And so my, or the, not the, the gutter, but basically where all the water went when it rained. And so my dad would have to climb down in it and get it like multiple times. So I was really, I was, it was really cool to see you driving it around in your vlog. And I was like, Hey, I had one of those. Um, well, those are some awesome hobbies. Like, I mean, that's just so cool. Um, all right. So moving on, we have got the game called memory association. So the way memory association works is I've got my random word generator here. I'm going to generate a random word. And once I get to a good one, because some of them are not very good, um, we are both going to say or talk about the first memory that comes to our head when we hear whatever that word is, whichever one we're willing to share. Okay. So, all right, our word is, oh, how about deer? Like an animal, the deer. Oh, 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 actually, actually, this is, that is a good word. Yesterday, this is yesterday. Okay, so yesterday I was doing my school in this exact area I am right now. And my dad was like, hey, there's a deer outside. So I looked out the window and then there was a huge, huge deer that was probably like, 10 feet away from our house just staring and walking around it was huge wow and it was like kept walking closer to the house and looking at stuff and there was a cat there was a cat that wanders around and the cat was wandering around the deer was like watching it, it was it was kind of weird but it was like the deer was just walking around then after a while it left and went to the woods and then it walked around later or like way in the woods we could barely see it and there were a bunch of other deer stuff and like babies and stuff it was huge yeah. Wow, that is so cool. My my memory that I thought of, well, first of all, the house that I live in now, we have deer all the time around here. So anytime I'm like driving home at night, I have to be really careful because I have to make sure that one doesn't end up in the road. But the one I thought of is a few years ago, my mom went up and um, to her her parents' house that they were selling at the time. And they were walking around making sure that like everything was, you know, ready to go and all of that. And there was a deer that literally came up to them, a young, like, you know, younger deer had no fear at all of people came right up to them, was like really affectionate with them. And it was just this crazy experience. My mom got photos of it being so close. And so, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty crazy story and pictures to see that a deer had come so, so close. Um, I love deer. They're so, they're, they're, so to me, it's just, it, I always get really excited when I see them, even though I literally see them every day. 
Um, all right, so moving on. So you have a lot of different talents as we've already established. So, you know, you sing, you dance, you tumble, act, you play instruments, all of this stuff. Um, do you have a favorite? And if you do, why is that your favorite? I think my favorite is tumbling because I really like doing tricks and like flips and stuff. And it's just really fun because like, I'm pretty good at it. And like a bunch of other stuff, like I can, like I'm learning how to do like a bunch of like flips and like back flips and stuff like that. And it's, it's like really fun. I just think it's really fun. That is so cool. I am not very coordinated. So if I attempted to do any sort of flip, I think I would fall flat on my face. So it's always very impressive to me when you can like do the flips, do the different, you know, tricks that I'm like, you yeah, know, I, my balance would not allow for that. Um, so could you give some advice to those that are watching? This can be any type of advice you want to give. Okay. So I have a really weird one and it might take a little bit. That's okay. I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. So I learned this probably a month ago. So you know how whenever you're sitting at a stoplight and like an ambulance or something's coming and there's that little white light that's like blinking next uh -huh. to the, the stoplight. Yeah. So I learned what the light blinking and if it's solid means. So I learned this because I saw a few in this one day. I saw like five. And it was different, so I figured it out. If you're sitting at an intersection and the light's solid, there's gonna be an ambulance coming either from right across or left across. And if it's blinking, it'll be either behind you or in front of you. No way. Yeah, I figured it out. Like I didn't, I haven't looked it up yet, so I don't know if it's actually true, but I'm pretty sure because I've seen it multiple times since then. And every single time I call out what I think is gonna happen, and it happens like every time. That so, is like, so cool. Yeah. So if the light's solid, you don't have to worry about like looking around. You can just, it'll probably be from the sides. And if it's blinking, you should look behind you and make sure it's not, you know, behind you. So yeah. Wow. That is so cool. I did not know that. And as someone who drives a lot, thank you. I'm going to make sure I pay attention to that now. Cause I am always stressed whenever I hear the sirens and I'm like, oh, where's it coming from? Where is it coming from? Like, I don't want to be in the way. So that is really helpful. Um, Okay, so next question, when things get tough or when things get frustrating for you, um, what pushes you to keep going? The thing that pushes me to keep going is that with all of my acting things and stuff like that, it helps with like different stuff, like having fun and other stuff like that. But the thing that keeps me going is my pet bird that I, I mean, I don't have it yet, but I'm going to be getting a pet bird in like a couple of weeks. Oh, that's and so what ke It keeps me going. Cause like, if I can do all these jobs and stuff, I can, I can help like pay for like stuff for my bird and stuff like that. That's so I, awesome. Yeah. That is so cool. What type of bird are you getting now? I'm curious. A cockatiel. That is so cool. Well, I can't wait to, to see it, see pictures and all of that when it's, when you get it. Um, and then lastly, before we go back to our, um, uh, are two truths and a lie. Um, where can people follow you and keep up with what you do? Okay, so I am on the our YouTube channel, Supercharged Trio. Okay, and we just recently made an Instagram account, and my Instagram is super is, yeah super e underscore thirteen. Got it. Perfect. Well, I will put both of those in the description so people can go and subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow you on Instagram. Well, it is. it was so good getting to talk to you. Thank you so much for being on the show. And I'm so excited for everyone to see this. Thank you for having me. Of course. I'm going to go ahead and press stop on the recording. So we are going to head out of Zoom. Thank you all so much again for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when we post every single Tuesday and Thursday. And you can follow us on Instagram at Breaking Characters Show. If you yourself are a creative and you're interested in being on the show, you can go ahead and check out the description box below where there's a link on how to submit yourself. And you can also find Ethan's social media and my social media down there as well. Now next week, I don't think this is going to change, but next week we should have Caroline Riley on the show. But if it does change, it's no big deal. And you'll know when we post the videos who's going to be on the show. Thank you so much again for watching and we will see you hopefully when I'm sitting back normally in my chair next Tuesday.